Hi, David with Rapid Materials here. Today we're going to talk about the S5 solar kits and how to install a solar panel on a metal roof. Okay, to install a solar panel on a metal roof, you need three basic components. The first ones are going to be the S5 clamps, and uh, for solar installation, we like to use the S5 mini clamps. Uh, it's important that you determine that you have the right clamp for the panel profile you have. If you're not sure, you can go to our website and you'll be able to see a breakdown by panel profile of what works or you can give us a call and we'll tell you uh, what's going to work. For our application we're going to use the S5V Mini and the S5V Mini does come with a set screw and a hex bolt for each uh, application but you're not going to need the hex bolt so we'll just kind of throw those off to the side. The other components you're going to need uh, it really depends on how many panels or how you're installing it. For a single panel uh, generally you're just going to need to use the uh, new S5 Edge Grab 2.0 which is this little part if you have two panels that are going to be adjacent to get to each other, then you would want to use the uh, S5 uh, Mid-Grab 2.0, which is designed to grab panels uh, on either side of it. You can also use the uh, Mid-Grabs at the edges if you prefer and want to keep it simple. They're the same price. Now, the Edge Grab and the Mid-Grab kits both come with a stainless steel mounting disc, uh, which supports the bottom of the panel. So, uh, let's look and see how it goes together. Solar panels come in all shapes and sizes, from the smallest to medium sized to panels that could be as big as 3 foot by 5 foot. For the purpose of our demonstration video, we're going to use the small panel because it's just a little bit easier to see what's going on. Alright, the first thing you want to do is have a starting point. I've already laid it out and marked it back here behind the panel. This is where we're going to set our clamps. So we're going to apply our S5, uh, in this case S5V clamps. And using a screw gun, not an impact driver, we're going to tighten those down. Now, S5 will recommend that you check the torque on these, and the torque should be somewhere between 135 and 175 inch pounds. Um, you can check it with an inch pound torque wrench, and note I keep saying inch pounds, it's inch pounds, not foot pounds. After the uh, clamps are in place, we're going to set edge grabs, spin it down. So it's more or less snug. Take a wrench and tighten up the barrel there. If you notice, two sides are flattened out on the stainless steel shaft. That is, so you can put a wrench on it. Um, like all S5 products, all the steel parts are stainless steel. All the other parts are made of aluminum. So I'm just going to snug that down, kind of get that oriented. And then we're going to place this panel here just to kind of locate it. This is going to help us ID where we want to put the other ones. All right, now because I'm not really good at uh, laying things out here without taking some significant measurements, we're going to go ahead and pre assemble these and then locate them so we can get uh, pretty close to where it needs to be. I think after the first module goes down, then you could pretty easily do a layout and get them exactly where they need to be. So it's going to sit on there just about like that, close enough. Alright, we're just going to snug these down on this end. And again, we want to check the torque. Make sure they're right. So those are pretty much in place now. It's as simple as just drawing them down. Now, if you were putting two panels adjacent to each other, where, for example, you had another panel sitting on the side, you'd want to use the mid grab which is capable of grabbing two panels at the same time, but it's essentially the same principle. All right, well that's how easy it is to install a solar panel using the S5 PV Kit 2.0s and uh, S5 clamps on a metal roof. Uh, it doesn't get much more basic than that. I, a screw gun, tape measure, a wrench, and a pen are the only tools I needed to do this project. Uh, obviously, connecting the panels together is a little bit more complicated and not something we're going to delve into. 
Well, folks, that's how easy it is to install a solar module on a standing seam metal roof. If you have more questions, feel free to give us a call at 770-405-1060. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Or you can visit our website at rapidmaterials.com. Thank you.